Tonight, memories of just about every United States president. And Joan Embry of the San Diego Zoo takes us to a baby walrus nursery. And in closing, just let me say that yes, I'll do whatever is necessary to ensure our stature in Europe. Uh, next. Mr. President! Mr. President! Mr. President! Mr. President, Scott Johnson, Belmore Night Crier. Our readers would like to know what your next tip for Evening Magazine will be. Interesting you would ask, Mr. Johnson. As a matter of fact, my next tip for Evening Magazine will be a fascinating study of an amazing collection of presidential memorabilia. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Dennis Miller, and tonight we're at Belmar Junior High School to see what has to be one of the largest presidential collections in the country. Everything from Washington to this old actor, who many feel has just landed his best role. Do you know what president has been on the cover of Time magazine more than any other? Well, that would have to be Richard Nixon, who appeared about 40 times, the first in 1954 and the last in 1977. Pretty good guess, guy. Uh, actually, nothing this gentleman says is a guess. This is Stephen Russell, and he's the ringmaster of this incredible collection. Russell has been collecting for 20 years, and he has numerous photos and portraits of all the presidents. His personal favorite is JFK, and there are photos of Kennedy at ease, and a striking picture of young Senator Kennedy and his radiant wife, a photo that first caught Russell's eye lying in a Washington, D.C. trash can. There are hand-painted plastic replicas of all the presidents, each remarkably accurate. In fact, the Coolidge statuette is rumored to be more animated than the original. Belmar Junior High is located 45 minutes from town in Belvernon, PA, and the collection is open to the public. A highlight of any visit would have to be the button collection. Now, probably the rarest button in the collection is this JFK LBJ reflector. It's one of only two in the entire country. As you can see, I haven't yet figured out my own political affiliation, but can I close by saying this? Isn't that the beautiful thing about this country, that I have that freedom to choose? Good night, America.